For your second reading, I want you to go through and number the paragraphs. You can see there's one here, two, three, oops, three, four, five, and six. So you have six paragraphs to this article. And as you read, I want you to identify main ideas. And you can either write the main ideas over here or off to the left side of your margin, wherever it is to show what the important information is that you got from this paragraph. How does the facts in here translate to contributing um, information to the entire piece? What information is important from this? So again, we're looking at a short sentence that really pinpoints the important information. So you're going to have six of these main ideas because there are six paragraphs. Then you're going to go down to this second read box um, and all of our writing is going to go over here. First we're going to look at the text structure. To look at text structure we look at our transitions. So I want you to see if you can find, well first go through and highlight all the transitions that you can find. You should be looking for words and phrases at the beginnings of sentences um, that have a comma after them and you might want to use a different colored um, highlighter than what you used for your vocabulary. After you find the transitions, maybe pick five. See if you can fit five in here. Um, and then you're going to tell what type they are. Type indicates if it's a prepositional phrase, an infinitive, an adverb, or a dependent clause. And then decide what the text structure is. And your text structure posters are up by the front board, um, by the whiteboard, um, and there are five of them. Compare and contrast, cause and effect, problem solution, and so on. So again, I want to see at least five transitions here explained. Um, next, you're going to look at the author's purpose. And we found some really interesting things about the author who wrote the article yesterday. So it'll be interesting to see if this author wrote in a similar fashion. So I want you to, to think about what you got out of the reading and what the author was trying to pass on to you. As far as text features, um, I actually got rid of a lot of the text features when I typed this in here. There are no bold print words. There are no um, maps or graphs or photographs with captions. So I got rid of all that for you. So you really don't need to put anything here for text feature. Um, if you are reading or watching the screencast the way you're supposed to, how about writing a little message here in this box telling me how your day's going and one fact that you've learned about the crusade so far. Okay, and then that should bring you to the end of reading number two, and you can watch the screencast next for reading number three.